What are you doing? Moving along with the times, man. How's that? Microchips and a cashless society are here. I'm getting my credit card implanted. Mmm, that kind of seems a little bit risky. Now don't tell me you're one of those people who believe that this is the whole mark of the beast thing. It's just technology moving... It's just technology moving along. There's no 666 with it. Nothing to worry about. I meant getting your wife to try and install it. Oh. I didn't consider that. Before we get into this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Now, I don't know about you, but my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube have all been blowing up with this whole Mark of the Beast being here. Perhaps yours has been too, or perhaps you just saw this video and were interested. Okay, well, what is this? It is connected to COVID-19 as well as Bill Gates. If you don't really know anything about Bill and Melinda Gates over the past several years, that's fine. Basically, they have a foundation that pushes vaccines and research for it and the need for them. They are very outspoken about the need for vaccines in our society. And in the case of the coronavirus, this is something that they have been preparing for. When asked about what areas of our economy can be shut down because of what's going on right now, which has been already happening for over a month now, he stated that it's tricky to answer it. Since we are lacking a lot of information on who exactly has this, how it's been passed around, who's been exposed to it, and we don't have really any digital footprint on it, it's hard to know what exactly is necessary and what needs to be shut down. He then said, and I quote, Eventually, we will have some digital certificates to show who has recovered or been tested recently, or when we have a vaccine, who has received it. And as soon as he said we're going to be having these digital certificates, people went Crazy. And now I've been hearing a lot of people saying, Bill Gates is bringing the mark of the beast upon us. Revelation 13 is here. Is there any truth to this claim? Is there a chance that what we're seeing here is the mark of the beast? But I think that before we can actually even get into all of this, we need to know what Revelation 13 says of the mark of the beast. So if you didn't know, the beast that is being talked about in Revelation 13 is in reference to the Antichrist. We start in verse 15. It says, and it was allowed to give breath to the image of the beast, so that the image of the beast might even speak and might cause those who would not worship the image of the beast to be slain. Basically referring to somewhat of a global idolization of the Antichrist and those who refuse, they're just gonna be killed. So then those who worship the beast or pledge allegiance to him, they need to have some sort of sign that they have. And this is where we get into the mark of the beast. Also, it caused all, both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to be marked on the right hand or the forehead, so that no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark. That is, the name of the beast or the number of its name. This call for wisdom, let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of man, and his number is 666. To sum that up in simple words, there's gonna be some sort of marking that's gonna be on your hand or on your forehead, and without that marking, you are not gonna be able to live in a society because you will not be able to buy anything. Basically, if you don't take this mark, then you're considered an outcast and nobody's supposed to sell anything to you. It's kind of some pretty scary stuff, right? That's why people are blowing up about this. But first we need to ask the question, well, what exactly is the mark? We are told that it's a mark on the hand or on the forehead, but what that mark actually is, is debated. Some say it is a digital chip, something like what Bill Gates is talking about, where it's implanted into your hand that has all your information and your credit cards and everything, and it allows you to go to the store, have a cashless society where you pay by just putting putting your hand to the thing. Basically, not having this chip implant would be tantamount to terrorism. Some argue that that is the mark of the beast. Others argue that it's simply a metaphor for worshiping and following the Antichrist and the devil. A third argue that the mark is literal and that people will actually get something like a tattoo of the number on their hand or on their forehead, similar to how you see some gangs do it as a pledge of allegiance. There are other theories, but most of them generally fall under somewhat of these three categories. But the digital system is what we are gonna be looking at today because there is actually a digital system that exists and currently is being backed by major world organizations like the UN. This is known as ID2020 if you're wanting to look more into it. 
it is giving everybody a digital implant right here in your hand so that information can be found in a more simpler way. You won't need to take your social insurance number, your healthcare number, all these things around because it's all implanted into your hand. It's also a big push to have a cashless society to stop the spreading of germs through these physical objects. Now, I'm not really going to go into detail about what ID2020 is and what this chip entails, but I'm going to post a link in the description of a guy who breaks it down quite well. It leans a little bit more on the conspiracy side, but it's good information and a lot of it is actually accurate. But if you don't want to watch that video, just know that COVID-19 has been the big push for this system to be developed. And like I said, the best method to implement this is by putting a chip in the hand or a special type of invisible tattoo that would work similar to how a QR code works. How this connects to Revelation is the beginning of the development of a one world organization. A simple way to describe it is that all the countries come together as an allegiance and countries now act in more of a state-like or provincial-like status under a global organization or government. Once this begins and the momentum starts rolling a little bit, it could get to the point where those who do not align are then considered a threat. Basically, we lose the freedom of personal security in order to have world peace and freedom. I will admit that this does parallel Revelation 13 quite well and may be the beginning of what leads to the tribulation, but we're not there yet. But here's one thing that I see most people forgetting about when they say this whole thing is connected to the mark of the beast, is what about the rapture? If you were gonna argue that there is a mark of the beast coming, then you are most likely premillennial in your eschatology, basically what you believe on how the world is going to end. If you are pre-mill, then you are most likely pre-trib in your rapture theology. To sum it up, the church would be raptured before any of this even happens. Some of you may argue that the rapture will happen during the tribulation or after the tribulation, that being mid-trib and post-trib, but most of you would argue the rapture happens pre-trib, meaning before the tribulation starts. We are told that Christians will not be under God's wrath, and when the Bible in Revelation speaks about the tribulation, it literally uses the words wrath, which is why I am pre-trib, even though I leaned to post-trib several years ago. So if we get raptured before the tribulation happens, then we won't even be getting a mark of the beast, because we'll be in heaven. So we don't need to really have a worry about this affecting us and us living in a world that has the mark of the beast because if you're saved, you won't be here when it happens. To wrap this all up, know that the technology needed to have a global identification system already exists. Companies are already using chip implants in their hands for security reasons at their building. Instead of having a card to tap in, now you just have to run your hand by the sensor. And this is very similar to a system that we see in Revelation. So then should we refuse these chips? I would argue that we shouldn't refuse it if our reasons are for not wanting to accidentally align with the beast. Unless having a chip implanted into you is a public declaration of your alliance to the Antichrist, then that should not be a reason for you to use to refuse it. Christians should not be worried about this inherent allegiance to the beast that comes out of this technology. We will not accidentally receive the mark of the beast, and it's not like we will get this chip implanted and that 15 years later this chip now means that we are aligned to the Antichrist. We're not going to be fooled by it. As we read in 2 Thessalonians, this is a great delusion sent by God unto the world. But because we're in God and in Christ, this delusion is not going to come upon us. Mostly because we're also not going to be here. So if you are in Christ, you will know that it's the mark of the beast. And I believe that the only Christians that will be in the world during the tribulations are ones who came to Christ after the rapture. So though the technology already exists, it is not the mark of the beast. Though this technology does exist, it's not satanic in nature. However, I do believe that a technology like this will be the mark of the beast one day in the future, but not now. So until that time exists, we don't need to panic over this being the mark of the beast. God is still in control and we still have the same call placed upon us even if this is the mark. We are to share the gospel with others in the love of Christ. That is what is important and not turning this into some sort of conspiracy theory 
about how we are now in the tribulation. We can trust God because he's got our backs. Not to contradict all that, but I do believe that we need to stand for our freedom. Though I don't think that you should take a stand against this because it's somehow demonic and connected to the mark of the beast. I do believe that there is grounds to refuse it for your own personal security and freedom. I do understand that many people feel like this would be an invasion of their privacy and that over time it would give the government too much power. Now I'm not going to turn this into an anti-government or the government is evil conspiracy. I am simply pointing out that you have rights as a citizen and as well you have the biblical right to argue against getting one of these if you take that position. Just don't refuse it because it's the mark of the beast, which it currently isn't. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. Check out some of our other videos and if you thought this one was interesting, then I encourage you to check out the one where we talk about how aliens and demons are connected. But that is it for today. I'm Aiden and remember to know the word, do the word, and share the word, but as always, we do it in love.